welcome to the Festo press conference. We are here at Festo headquarters where Festo researches and develops all the new technologies. The Hannover Fair begins on the 1st of April under the motto Integrated Industry, Industrial Intelligence. We took a look at some of the topics that are particularly interesting for you there. For example, how does artificial intelligence change tomorrow's industrial production? And everyone is talking about autonomous driving. Will industrial production also become autonomous in the future? Today I'm talking to four Festo experts here. Welcome to you. So where do we stand? with AI in automation. What do you think, how smart are machines today and how do they learn? Um, so I will tell a story about how AI will change automation into autonomy. First, I will address how programmers implement um, software today. So we have a kind of input like this image data here and uh, we have a program which is handmade uh, we feed that inside a computer and this computer gives us output. For example, I detected this cylinder. AI will change that. So AI uh, will have an image data, for example, which is still, still the same, but it will have uh, the output, which is the aim to detect. And uh, a computer will calculate an AI which can solve this task. Let's go deeper in technology. AI, I think we all agree, is all about data. So what does big data mean in terms of uh, automation? Um, is it no longer possible without cloud, for example? I have to disagree. <laughs> <laughs> we have so much cloud talk uh, going on. I mean, the cloud is a marvelous technology. It's great what yeah. we can do with that, but it's not the same as AI. They don't even need each other necessarily. Yeah. So what we see in automation is, well, we have a real-time application, so it's all about speed, and we have an, a massive amount of data. So why transfer all this data of an expensive infrastructure, which will only take latency, it will cost time, why not interpret it there and then where the data is happening and where it uh, starts to be created by, by the measurements. So what we really enforce is uh, the edge computing here and uh, we developed our software straight away uh, to be able to do the interpretation on the edge level. So what's your opinion there, Mr. Melzer? I just can reiterate or reinforce what Tanya said. We have the cloud, and there are a lot of things in the cloud, and we will need the cloud for the future. And we work at Festo on our own cloud services, but also on many other major platforms. Mm -hmm. We offer IoT services there, and some are new, and we've shown in health affair. But the tendency is very clearly, and we, we made a good step last year with Resolto to move that more closer to the machine. What products does Festo develop with AI, and um, which will be shown in Hanover? We came up a couple of years ago with Festo Motion Terminal showing a digitalization of pneumatics. There we have sensors, intelligence, and we get the data. We have E2M uh, air preparation unit. We showed last year this little nice product. Looks not too sexy, but it's really cool because it's the connection to the internet. And this is so-called IoT gateway, where we have computing power. Mm -hmm. The future will be that we run a lot of these services and analysis on such a device there. And this year, we show dashboards for cloud, which will move further on to on-premises. And we show really nice examples on how artificial intelligence can be implemented on our CPX uh, control units. Mm -hmm. And first, uh, nice demo examples, how we use that. Yeah. So a whole scope from the bottom, from the field level, all the way to the, to the cloud level will be shown at Hannover Fair. So uh, talking about grasping, this is an important function mm -hmm. in the uh, automation technologies. Do you present something uh, at the Hannover Fair there? Yes, again, grasping was an important topic over the last years and this year we came up with the hand, the Barnick soft hand, which is inspired by the human hand, as you can see. And we have equipped this hand with sensorics, so we use artificial intelligence to train the hand that finally it is able, using reinforcement learning, 
to manipulate uh, a ball or an apple or in our case uh, such an object. What other bionic projects do you present this year? First of all, we show another arm, which is also made with these 3D knighted textiles, which yeah. allows us actually to build a really lightweight structure. It's compliant and therefore uh, can be used very well in this field of human-machine collaboration. We have now looked uh, to the future, what it will be possible. The question remains, will men in the end become superfluous and maybe replaced from technology, more technology? No, I don't think so. I think the human is even more important than ever, but automation in particularly artificial intelligence will make life easier. The boring, repetitive stuff will be taken over. What is really the case is this is a lot of technology, as we discussed here, coming up in a fast speed to us. There's a lot of change in competence and knowledge. It starts with me and goes all the way down to the workers. And this has been always happening in industry development, but this time things go much faster. Mm -hmm. So we have to prepare for that. That means, yeah. starting with me and all of us, uh, we need to learn, we need to adopt to these new technologies. We not only need experts, but we also have to take our people to the next level. And we had Festo and also in that industry uh, 4.0 platform, education and lifelong learning is one of the key topics. And Festo Didactic uh, provides a lot of co uh, possible uses uh, how we do that in, in industry. Thank you very much to all four of you for these inspiring insights. And also thank you very much to our viewers uh, for spending time with us here. And I'm going to go now virtual to the Festo stand in Hall 15D11. See you there. <laughs>